Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is starring Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. I feel like I said that wrong, but this is a story about two guys uh, getting their way in Hollywood. Uh, we get basically see their daily lives in Hollywood. Uh, one is struggling with um, being uh, being like like his career is getting like pushed out. He feels like he that no one knows him anymore. Brad Pitt, uh, Brad, that's Lord Arnold's capital. This character, Brad Pitt, is uh, playing this character where he's a stuntman and he drives around Leonardo. Um, and so yeah, and we get to see these two actors like basically daily lives. We, we basically see these two actors play themselves in some ways, except for Brad Pitt, he's more of a, he's a stuntman in this movie. And Leonardo, he's, um, he's basically, yeah, he, Leonardo can basically can play himself in this movie, but at the same time he isn't and this is also based off a true story which i had no idea about just until now i had no idea that it was based off a true story which is actually kind of insane um so honestly i actually freaking love this movie i was even looking forward to this movie it was this movie was insane like honestly i love the first act and the third act though that that's my favorite part of the movie. The second act is where stuff started to fall apart for me, and um, and just um, just I believe I believe it's because it went too, like went too long was long too long English um, was too long. I feel like the movie was too long, and um, so like having it. And I thought the second act was actually the third act because it felt like it was ending, but it didn't end. And the third act, oh my god, it got insane. I can't talk about it because it's a spoiler. I don't know if I would ever do a spoiler section. Probably not, but I do recommend seeing this because this was fucking insane. Leonardo did a fucking fantastic job, like always, basically. And But I, but my favorite part of this film is Brad Pitt. I honestly just see him back on the big screen, screen again. It's just freaking amazing, amazing, and he's hilarious in this film. He actually has a lot to do, and I really like it. But I was more interesting into the filming part, like where where they were on, where um, Leonardo's character was on set. I was more intrigued into that, and and every time they were on set, I was always engaged. I I was f engaged with Brad Pitt's character, but. Um, the stuff that he has to do in this movie uh, was kind of boring in some way. I was like, can we can we get back to Leonardo doing his, like his like filming parts? I'm like, because I I had a more fun time with that than seeing whatever Brad Pitt was doing. And don't get me wrong, I love Brad Pitt. I'm glad to see him back. I can't wait to see his new movie that's also coming out soon. Um, but just having him just thrown out somewhere to, and I, I don't know if how true that is but he was just thrown out somewhere doing something and i felt like that's kind of i felt like kind of out of place and this was like the end of the second act and so that felt kind of out of place so i'm like okay i guess so whatever uh he was funny and so but we got I just, I just wanted to see a little bit more uh Leonardo DiCaprio's um on set because I'm just, it's just so cool to see a set like that and seeing what, what it is like to film. So I think it was really cool to see that. So um, while making this film, they actually changed um, stuff in California to make this look like the 1960s. This took place in 1969. Um, so, and uh, yeah, so they changed around um, Hollywood or California itself to make it look like 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 the 1969 and it just looks so amazing and it actually looked really cool and it actually looked like the night uh, the 1960s because it I, I don't outstanding for the um, crew to make that actually look like the 1960s it was actually really cool and seeing and actually seeing the 1960s it was really cool um, if I had to go a play if I could travel through time I would probably go to the 1960s although it was a tough time but 
Uh, so yeah, I would probably go to the 1960s. So that was really cool. And so honestly, I don't know what the else to talk about this movie without spoiling anything, because you could say this movie was boring. If you go if you go into this movie with an open mind, knowing what you're, if you know what you're going to go see, like you, you know that you're just going to see like this is a turn off brain movie, and. And if you just go in there expecting an actual story, you're not going to get it. Um, because this this really doesn't need a story. It's just a bunch of um, events that happens. and But they're really cool events and they're funny. And that's what this mo uh, movie leans on to is the comedy. The com comedy. Uh, and so, and having Brad Pitt and Leonardo being the funniest people in this movie was a uh, it, that's what it really holds on to and it works so I really like that and honestly you guys can this is like a hangout movie you guys can have a great time and um, at night just hanging out watching this cuz this just it's just it's so amazing I'm gonna give once upon a time in Hollywood a B plus it's a good film I really like it and but that second act is what really took me down and it just what really slowed down the movie like i mean it slowed it down really badly and it felt like this movie was three, uh, four hours but it was actually two hours and 40 minutes so it was almost like three hours if you, if you include the previews it's basically two to three hours but it felt long and that second act really dragged so anyway Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm sorry that this took me a while to get out. I meant to have this out yesterday, but what are you gonna do anyway? So, yep, um, expect more reviews coming some, uh, very soon. I will be going to, um, back to school this Monday, next Monday. So, yeah, so reviews are gonna be a little bit more tight and they're gonna be more like Saturday reviews because, uh, you know, just how stuff would work. So I'm, I'll try to get Friday, uh, some reviews on Fridays, but it's just gonna be really tight and I'm gonna try to do things. And I'm still working on that short film. Um, it was meant to be out sometime like this, uh, like this month, but you know, it's, I pushed it back. I decided to work on a little bit more of the set. Well, not the set, we're not gonna have any sets, but um, the script itself, fix little uh, mistakes and add little things and so and we can plan it out a little bit more better so anyway thank you guys very much for watching and like always i'll see you guys in the next review bye guys